Where's my trophy? I think he won it because he had the votes. I just wanted it uh, acknowledged that he cheated to win it. Losing the MVP trophy to him at the time really didn't bother me. I knew what he was doing. I knew he was cheating, uh, but I wasn't willing to cheat at the time, and I just didn't think it was the right thing to do. And uh, it got too prevalent in the game, and it needed to be cleaned up, and I'm glad Major League Baseball is cleaning it up. He understands. He, he knows what he did, and he knows he was cheating at the time, and he's admitted it. I, uh, I respect him for that. Um, I, I respect him for that a lot. I'm not a Jose Bash or a Jose Hater at all. Uh, he did what he had to do to survive in the game. He did what he had to do to, uh, you know, put numbers up because that's what he was expected to do. I think what he did was a great thing as far as coming out and saying it and making the game clean back up because it was getting out of hand. I think most of us players all knew Jose was uh, was juicing up. I'd seen him in the minor leagues, and uh, actually when he when he first come up to the big leagues with Oakland about the same time I did, I looked across the field and I didn't even realize who it was. It put on 35 pounds of muscle, and uh, it's pretty obvious, obvious what he was doing, steroids. As a player, he was actually a good teammate. You know, I played with Jose. Uh, fun guy, good teammate. Uh, and when it all came out, everybody was asking, obviously asking me about it, and I said, the one thing I will tell you about Jose, He's not lying. He is not a liar. And if he said he shot a certain player up, he did. It was very tough on players that weren't doing steroids. And I think because of that, there was more guys starting to do it. Absolutely, every player did. And uh, had conversations, looked it up, wondered about it, um, but made the choice not to do it. In a way, I regret it. I know that sounds crazy, but I regret it simply because I see that there was no consequences. Now that the players have gotten caught and the players have admitted, there's no consequences. All you have to do is admit you did it, and it's okay. I, I, I think that's right. You take Marion Jones, who uh, basically admitted that she did steroids and lied. Uh, they took her gold medals away, didn't they? You can't take the numbers away. I, I don't think you should, should be able to say that a player didn't hit 500 home runs because he did. You know, uh, he played those games, he hit those home runs. You can't take their numbers away but you can take their awards away. Uh, you can take their Cy Young award away. You can take their MVP away, uh, Golden Gloves away. You can take the, the awards away, but that's all you can do. I don't think you could put a asterisk next to their name and say they did steroids and that's why they hit 500 home runs. They hit the home runs, they deserve to have the numbers. And those guys deserve to be in the Hall of Fame in my opinion, because they did hit them and they did put up the numbers, but they don't deserve the awards. I kind of spoke to him on an interview uh, when that was all going on about the book and him coming out. Uh, uh, but he was on, he was being asked questions, I was asked questions, we were on phones. He actually said that if I wanted the trophy, I knew where he lived in Miami, come and get it. And of course I'm not going to do that. Will I ever see the trophy? Probably not. I, I wouldn't mind it if they decided to do the right thing. And the right thing is he admitted he was cheating. He admitted he couldn't have hit 40 home runs and stole 40 bases if he wasn't doing it. So. Uh, um, Perfect time to uh, change residence with that trophy.